Hello and welcome to episode 8 of uh, the Star Trek Discovery Review All In. So, sorry I'm a bit late with this review. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting these up until Saturday. Because uh, I'm doing some stand-up comedy at the moment. And uh, so I've been a bit busy uh, writing material and stuff. But I finally got around. I've only just watched it about an hour ago. So, which has sort of been interesting. Uh, I don't really know what to make of this episode. I, I thought it started off all right. I, I, like my old focus now is on the main event of the story. You know, uh, it was sort of interesting. Uh, you know, the DMA, the dark matter anomaly, and that it's a, they've come to the conclusion that it's a, a, some kind of mining machine. It's it's looking for a certain element which I found interesting. Uh, when they went on about that, the size of it being bigger than like a solar system, I did start thinking VJ, you know, but I doubt it really. Would be interesting if but VJ merged and evolved, so I can't see it being VJ. But on, that thought did come to me for, for a second, but of course it's me speculating. Uh, I still think there's going to be conflict coming between the President and Burnham and the Admiral, and somehow the Admiral's going to become the federation president this i don't know i've just got a, that's gonna start well it's took a bit of a back seat hasn't it you know i was into i like booking the scientist uh in from some parallel universe i do like the scientist dude i think he's obviously got some kind of malevolent purpose maybe in his reality this this happened you know these entities or whoever they are they're so beyond us you see, I've got a feeling that the DMA thing, I don't think these aliens are going to be evil or bad or whatever. They're just doing what they could be doing naturally. They're so beyond us that they don't notice us on the life scale. We don't register. And it, it could be interesting that, you know, not like with season three with him with dilithium crystals that screamed and they all blew up. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of season three. But this episode, I did like, bits of it I, I wasn't all in i was getting a bit fed up of the gambling thing in the casino and and you know I, i've seen this so many times in so many different stories the galactic dodgy place somewhere in in the asteroid belt or on a dodgy planet but it wasn't bad i did like seeing the shapeshifter i would have liked to have known more was that uh was it one of odo's people i think it was so what's is the dominion now at peace with everybody is it fallen I'd, i would have liked to know just a bit more about that but it was a nice touch seeing the changeling it really was uh but like it's episode nine and ten uh, now i don't know how many episodes this season is i know it's going to be on ten so obviously it, it's just like last episode i found we're building to something and then this episode it, it, it was just it was like a filler episode after Isolinium and all this. Uh, but I have to say this series has been better than the last one. So all in all, it wasn't a bad episode. I wasn't at the edge of the seat. But when they mention stuff like the Galactic Barrier and this civilization there, I'm sort of quite fascinated because we're going back into the classic stuff. Really want to see the Galactic Barrier going to be sort of interesting what that are what they're going to do with that so hopefully next week i'd like him to get on the mission stop book scientist he's got an agenda totally different to everybody else you know there's something more going on with him and he's going to get his opportunity him and book are going to fall out because something he's got some card up his sleeve he's going to pull a fast one uh but where's it all gonna go now i don't know now now my predictions that obviously are the federation president there's something going on there she's gonna i think she's quite corrupt i could be wrong but i did like to say the admiral back uh but this episode i mean it just it was just a filler one it? it didn't really go anywhere it's, we got the interesting bits we got the dots and stamets how he's cleaning cleaning his quarters because he failed uh book and he wasn't listening you know so all that it just didn't mean anything to me all this was just like 
episode fillers. I did like the fight scene in the casino with the lieutenant. But then again, that takes me back to seven of nine in the Voyager episode, you know. But it wasn't bad. It, it's, it's, I, I'm hoping next week we start, because this series started so well, I thought, I thought it, it started quite well. And now we seem to be dropping the, the quality a bit with the stories. It's like we seem, we seem to be getting filler episodes that just don't seem to be achieving much. I mean, you, you might not agree with me, but I'm, I want it to, like, when it first started, it was quite impressive. Uh, but maybe this is where we are. I just thought, because we're back after three or four weeks, we'd have got a bit of a sort of bang with this, and we didn't. But I will see you next week on the next episode review. So stay safe, and uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs>